So, it is game time. It's Friday the 27th of May, and tomorrow I am going to be running 100 miles. It's the furthest distance I've ever, ever run. Um, and I've got to say, I'm, I'm slightly nervous uh, and have some trepidation about it. Um, but I know I'll do it. I know I'm gonna. I'm, I know I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna run from London Deer Park to Brighton, um, and then turn round and run back to Rygate. I, I kind of know the route, um, so that's the trepidation part. The evening bit, I, I kind of know that I have to certain <laughs> follow a certain map that I've I've devised. Um, so we'll see how my brain is at. 70, 80 miles in, whether I can work out my left or my right. This is a prep run for September's 184 and 48. Feelings of lots of different emotions right now, but determined, determined to do this and, um, and use it as an impact to raise that awareness for people to think, bloody hell, this guy is for real. So, this is my least uh, favourite part of running. To get your muscles to recover um, you have to get into what is called an ice bath Jesus that's cold <sighs> morning it's uh, 8 no May we're in May now Five months left then. I'm off to Life Lab today to train with Adam. Why are you so surprised? Because you're late. In the literature, right between the front, the left hand you pick up, stand up, come back down. So from there to literally stand up, take the bike to the side. So it's almost trying to get the other hand to touch the floor as you're going. Reach through right. Okay. So not how I just demonstrated it. <laughs> so I've not been able to run for the past couple of days because I picked up a little bit of an injury in my shin. So I've had acupuncture a couple of times on it <coughs> with Tim and I've got it sorted now. The quiz in the end. Last time I said it raised 1,023. Someone got match funding, which meant that it raised 1,523 pounds, which makes me buzzing because I also received a donation yesterday from one of my rugby tots parents for 100 quid. Just off the bat, there you go, there's 100 quid. Amazing. Yesterday I started planning my route back from Brighton <laughs> and uh, I think it struck me um, how serious uh, it is. <laughs> I'm going to be doing 100 miles, 100 mile training run. So typically I, uh, I missed the start, brilliant, at Richmond um, on the Thames. So I'll be back here in September running a full length of it. Good morning. There we go, good morning. This guy's happy. I'm happy. All of these people are happy. Cheers, thank you. Thank you guys, thank you. Cheers. Ah, food down here. Awesome. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Got it, haven't you? You got it. Anymore. So I'm about 15k away from the finish line of this 100k. Um, and it's all going to plan. I think my shin splinter back. I've lost my head completely. I can't seem to focus. Oh, 
From like 65k to 88k, all I was doing was walking. I couldn't, I couldn't even run. You get like, I've got to 92 and I was just like, I'm so fed up with feeling sorry for myself. I'm just gonna run. Don't care how, how much damage I do to myself. I saw Tim and he just looked at me and was like, you've got this. Like, I know. He was like, don't do any more mileage. I was like, away. Oh, About 65k into the first. 100k of it um i picked up a stress injury in my leg so it was a reoccurring injury which meant that when i got to brighton which was the finish line for the 100k um i had to stop i was very very uh devastated at the time um and distraught and i'm thinking about it now having a few days to let the dust settle um it's not a bad thing. It has made me rethink the challenge and made me actually think that I, well, I've learned that I'm a lot stronger after recovery. The next day, my legs were fine. After running 62 miles, my legs were absolutely fine. And so I know that I could have put my trainers on again and run another 62 miles. So that got me thinking and I'm re reinventing the challenge I'm, I'm not going to do it over 48 hours I'm not going to try and do it fully non-stop what I will do is I'm going to break it down into three different runs so on the Friday I'm going to get up at stupid o'clock six in the morning and start running and I'm going to run 70 miles that day find somewhere to sleep sleep get my legs worked on roll them eat get up 70 miles again the next day on the Saturday which will leave me on the Sunday, 44 miles, which is from Weybridge to Woolwich, which you've already followed me on. Um, but I know that way it's a more achievable target. I've got less chance, hopefully, of, of injuring and more chance of achieving the, the end target, which is to run that 184 miles.